Welcome back. Let's play some 10 minute games here on Shogi Wars. In the end game, speed is more important than material. Arguably, <laughs> depending upon the amount of material, that can apply to earlier game phases too. Like, fretting a ton over a pawn might not be worth fretting over. Good luck. All right, so that's an interesting first move. And an interesting second move. And suggests Crab Castle, I think. Wait, I was just hearing about this on Shogi Dad's channel. If the intention is right fourth file rook, that something about this being a mismatch in strategy because this pawn wedge can resist quite a bit. Um, now they've cut off this bishop, so this is now like left Yagra, but not really because they're pushing all of their pawns. I can't really follow what it is that they're doing. Uh, since this is not supported by a silver, it's my turn to attack. Okay, this is now supported by a silver. Um, I think it's still my attack lands first. And even if it doesn't land first, it still lands pretty hard, and I need to attack, or I just don't get my turn if I don't take it. So, um, I have to attack now. Pawn, silver, silver, bishop. Yeah, okay, this is my time. Uh, pawn drop on the silver's head does not improve this, so we're just going to go for it. Oh, I have a, I still have the pawn in hand. I was gonna, I was thinking if I had two pawns, maybe I drop a pawn, drop a pawn. I don't. And even if I did, that still wouldn't uh, work out so well. So our opponents tried to prepare for everything, and consequently is not prepared for anything. Uh, I could drop a pawn here, actually, and then take this. But I don't think that's best. We're just going to go um, take the simple path. There we go. They have to respond again. Um, and then we're going to protect this rook so it doesn't hang for nothing. And come up with a clever next move somehow. I have bishop drop and promote and back and stuff. Um, too bad I don't have pawn drop on the center file, but that wouldn't work out anyway. Um, if the king moves, I have silver fork here. I'm, I want to drop a pawn here to smash this in half, but oh, actually, if I drop the pawn, then I drop the... okay. We're not taking this pawn, anyway. Um, but yeah, if I could break this castle and do so in a way that lets me continue attacking, that'd be ideal. Um, not sure that that's possible. 
But this attack really got stalled here. That's my general observation. Okay, they saw a specific attacking idea. Um, oh, I can't drop the pawn here like I hoped. The rules of the game forbid my brilliant move. Pawn drop on the knight's head might have been an improvement. Uh, although then that breaks the whole fork. So probably not. Um, Alright, so they might drop a bishop somewhere on the same diagonal, and I might go over here. I'm not sure. Or maybe I exchange and then redrop. Half of my thought here is that the bishop will be a useful defensive piece. Um, the other half of my thought is that hopefully I could come up with a better attacking idea soon. Oh, Rook takes silver, I'd not even considered until just now. Um, I don't have enough force to checkmate, but yeah, if somehow I were able to drop a gold and drop another gold and just met with a zero resistance, then this sack could be worth considering sometimes. Um, but that's not the reality we're in. Well, okay. There's less pieces to resist my attack now. Um... It's interesting. That's a good observation. Alright, I'm going to be the slightest bit greedy here and suggest that the silver is misplaced. If they try to push on this head, I can take the lance. Right, and if they do that, they can have my rook. I'm not going to say no to that. Um... Nanafun. point I have here is that their attack is still a touch slow, or seemingly so. I can't let that in without consequence. And then I resist again. Hmm. That's a cool move. Um,
I'm trying to imagine how best to resist here. I think this puts up decent resistance. The problem is, what if bishop uh, 2 8? Maybe I run away here? I'm not sure. Such a hot mess. Mm -hmm. Let's see, how do I attack? Go Fun. What a mess. I want to check on this diagonal, but there's... okay. Yeah, my opponent is astute. Um... Drop this, that, the, uh, I don't have mate. Alright, so I guess I'll just take this. And then try to defend. Oh, that hurts. Um, that's gonna hurt just in just a second here. Well, so I can use this to defend too. Hmm. What a mess. What a mess. Um, we're going to do this too. Even though that doesn't seem to do much.
3分 Finally, I get to attack. It's like checkers here. If they take this horse, then I get the dragon. It's fine somehow. We'll draw the horse all the way back here, I guess. One down, two to go. Good luck. Okay, well... Urshino attack is still appropriate here. Um... It's on the verge of not being appropriate, but um, it's still appropriate. Oh, I've not played this accurately, have I? Oops. Uh, okay. Yeah, I got my openings mixed up. That kind of sucks. I'll live, but barely. Um... Thankfully, like, they haven't had time to bring the silver up and checkmate me. Um, but yeah, this might not be the soundest opening on my part.
On the other hand, they moved, they've shuffled the rook around a bit, so um, that did give me some time to do some of this here. Oh, well here we go. This pawn's still in place, so it's time. It's attacking time. They might just block this. Well, if they block with a pawn... Well, then I can retreat the bishop. They have to take it. And then blocking is difficult. Um... Sadly, there's no greater trap here. Uh, I'd kind of hoped like a bishop drop and bishop takes would mate. Um, but it's not going to be that simple. Oh, bishop drop here is interesting. Not interesting enough, but... Um, hmm. I missed silver takes, or misevaluated it. Initially I thought that would be amazing for me. Instead it's just okay. Um... Okay, we're gonna avoid a fork. Uh... And probably walk into a different fork somehow. Yeah, I don't have anything trickier than this, so we're just going to go with the, all this here. They might retreat this gold to win my rook, and I can live with that. Well, if nothing else, if they do that, I have bishop drop, and then I'm threatening to win this pawn back. Um, it's, no, I don't have that. I wish I did. Uh, uh, uh. I have to take the bishop. Alright, so I've been trapped. That's fine. Nanafun. Um... I feel like I should have another move here. Another attacking idea, that is. Okay, I'm going to play this crazy, wild attacking idea. 
Oh, that just instantly dies out. Sweet. Um, I thought I had a continuation. I really did. Okay, so we'll hit the gold and then continue pushing on the rook's head. Mm hmm. Hmm. Retreating is bad. Just categorically. Um. So forward we march. They can drop a pawn. I can't really do anything about it. Originally, I've been considering bishop drop here. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a good move. Um, that is quite resourceful. Yep. All right. That's fine. There's no sense in my rushing anything at this point. Like, grabbing the rook doesn't really help me a whole ton. It might make me feel better, though. Maybe. So I make a hole in the castle. Um, Go -fun. I defend this weakness here and hit the dragon. And attack this weakness. Don't have a choice. Oh, wait. This doesn't give me much better options. <laughs> um, if I take that, I'm getting mated. Probably. If I don't... Oh, well, no, I have no choice but to take it. So, what am I thinking about? Oh, I can't drop a pawn, so I guess I'm going to drop something else. All right.
Yeah, that was a good sacrifice. Really thematic what they did. And my saving, my gold general, cost me a move here. A move which obviously I need. Um, so let's try to run away. Strange. Um... Okay, I do need to remove the knight. I guess I have to resort to the obvious here. There's no return ticket, is there? Not even close. Yeah, all they need to do is stick some kind of barrier in the way of my king, and, like, I don't know what to, what to say. Um, there's nothing I can do to remove every piece that would be part of that barrier. I could take this. I don't... There's no reason for me not to. They have this fork, but that's not a reason for me to avoid it. If they fork, my taking here would just get me mated. So it's best for me to dive head first into the corner. Um... Yeah, let's just run. Sampun. We'll take away this square from anything they want to drop on that square. Um. Oh, interesting. I do have options. Okay, we will take my option then.
2分30秒。This is what I was alluding to is that defending everything is not going to be possible. Um, I'll still attempt to, however. Mm. Yeah, there's not much I can do. Nifun. If they retreat the dragon, then I mean it's it's been over for a while, but maybe they're having fun with this. We're certainly having fun watching it, I think. That's beautiful. If it is what I think it is. Ippun. Thanks for the game. Two down, one to go. Yeah. Um, mistakes were made. Good luck.
They want... Okay, they've shied away from building Anaguma Castle. I've somehow persuaded them out of it. Um, that said, I'm kind of screwed if I don't play this, so let's play this. Oh! Knight up, pawn up. Not in that order. Or in that order, I don't know. It's something I should be looking for. Um, but yeah, the knight's head is super weak in this situation, so... Even though I played something and bluffed my opponent out of building Anaguma, um, this might not be sound. Okay, we're just gonna build a castle and pretend everything's normal. King is exposed to this bishop check, so I can get away with this. Um, that's a free pawn. Don't mind if I do. It's like, as I was saying, the king is exposed on this diagonal, so I can get away with this. I know I was pointing to the other diagonal, but that's just a misdirection. Alright, so I get to take three pieces. They get to take two pieces. And this will be okay. I did the first capture and the last capture. They have a bishop drop. I don't know what's going on. I'm pretending that I know. I guess I can move the knight out and bishop drop and try to attack the... Well, this is a weakness. Pity I don't have a knight in hand. Um, so we could drop a rook and take a knight and then drop a knight and take here. That takes four moves to do. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, uh, there are many problems with that move. Um, okay, let's just unpack the first of them. So, I cut off the bishop drop, I attack the king, I also defend this weakness. Um... But this is going to be available for a knight drop if somehow I get a knight. <laughs> Not sure I want to take that. I mean, if it were free, I would take it, but... Um... The alternative doesn't seem much better. Well, I could take this. Why am I looking at the weirdest moves? I don't know. Um, I'm just super weirded out by what's going on here. Please don't let me get mated. <laughs> Please let me survive this for enough time to do something. 
Um, Okay, I'll defend my king. If they take the lance, I think I just surround the horse and then forget that it exists. So part of my motivation for silver takes pawn was not just that I was taking a pawn, but that also, like, the silver protects squares on the head of my castle. Um, so as I was saying, I think they need this to defend their king. Nana. Drop, drop, I don't know. It's fast. It's super fast. Um, yeah, let's do it. I just realized this is a fork. That's kind of cool. Well, three down, zero to go, so I guess that's what we played today. Everyone's human, don't give them a hard time about it. So, that was exciting. Thanks for watching, have a good day.